working with multiple parts. So uh, we've already gone over setting up a toolpath in previous videos. So the, pr the process is the same pretty much. We're going to say file import drawing. We're only going to use import drawing on the first part. Okay, so we're going to say part three. Okay, this is our first part. Now, you know, uh, I'm not going to put a toolpath on it, but uh, at this point we would highlight the S, we would go in and we, we would put our toolpath on this part. We go to nesting, we move the part around. Okay, so now if we want to bring in another part, we can do that easily by going to file and saying new part. Now, don't say import drawing. If you say import drawing, you're going to overwrite this part that's already here. So the first part is import drawing. Every additional part you're going to say new part. Now we're going to look for a new part. And I'm not sure what that is. So here, uh, bec it doesn't matter if you put it over the top of this existing part. You can still move it, but uh, just for uh, the sake of less confusion, we're going to move it to the upper left. Okay, so there's our second part. Now we're in nesting already, so we can grab that part. We can move that down here. Okay, so now you see this part has uh, different layers. Okay, it doesn't appear to be anything on that layer. So now we can go ahead and uh, put our toolpaths on these parts. So uh, you're going to select the part that you're working with. So uh, I'm going to say part three. And uh, we're going to go to edit start points. And we're going to go ahead and put a toolpath on this part. I'm just going to do a perpendicular lead uh, on this part. Okay, and we'll put our move our lead over th over there. Now we're going to highlight the second part and we have to do the same thing. We have to create an operation cuz you know part each part is different. So each part has its own layers and its own operations. Uh, so now we're going to hit the uh, we're going to hit the matchstick button. Now it's remembering everything from our last uh, operation or our last part. So we want to select that CAD layer. It's our only active layer, and uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna say zero on our overcut, and uh, we'll use a very small lead in with an arc lead out. Okay, so we have uh, we have an error up here, and. Uh, it says uh, open paths were not offset and it could not fit the lead in, in some uh, outline. So sheet cam is smart enough not to put a lead where it won't fit. So it's telling you that it couldn't fit the lead and it, it, it'll actually omit the lead. Uh, but we do have open contours. So this I'm not going to get into uh, fixing this drawing, but one way you can tell that you have open contours is that there's no offset on this on this contour here. See how this one's offset? The green line is inside of the white line. Well, this one has no offset. And that's exactly what this is telling us. Open paths were not offset. And there shouldn't be any open paths uh, in this particular drawing. So at this point, we would need to take this back into CAD and figure out why we have open contours. And uh, if you actually look at the part, it'll give you clues as to what the problem is. So right here, we have multiple start points here and here. You, you basically want to follow that around. Wherever it's open, we have multiple. we have a start point here. We should only have one start point on each closed contour. So it looks like we have one, two, possibly four. So this would need to be opened up in a CAD program. And 
we need to take a look at that. Uh, this concerns me a little bit here, right, right here too. So I'd want to take a look at um, at this corner right here in the CAD program. Uh, so aside from the problems we have with this particular uh, part, that's working with multiple parts. Remember, you're, uh, when you're bringing in multiple parts, uh, the first part is import drawing. Every part after that is new part. And we'll see you in the next video.